Hi, everybody. Happy Labor Day holiday. This is Dr. Ken Muich, Fibromyalgia Wellness Center, Stetson Chiropractic Clinic, uh, where we talk about uh, fibromyalgia and fibromyalgia-related subjects, those things that uh, actually uh, uh, affect uh, fibromyalgia patients directly, and also those that obviously have other conditions that uh, might be related to fibromyalgia, because every fibromyalgia patient has uh, other conditions other than fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia oftentimes makes these worse, uh, and so it's very, very difficult for many doctors to diagnose properly what your condition actually is. Uh, today, uh, I'm sure everybody's celebrating uh, and, and having cookouts, doing a variety of different things. We already had a little uh, family uh, get-together. Hi, Gail. Uh, bring them on. Bring them on camera. Okay. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> that obviously, uh, you probably this weekend have uh, 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 in, been involved with one way or another because of food, and it's called sugar. Uh, and uh, I've been advertising all week long about sugar, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, and uh, the good is a little bit, uh, the bad is uh, not so good. The ugly is, a, is pretty ugly. I'm going to get to that. Now, look, at, <clears throat> we'll talk about the sugar in itself. And uh, sugar is a uh, glucose, and uh, it's uh, burned as energy. Uh, and when added to oxygen, uh, it uh, actually produces carbon dioxide, and when you exhale, it actually gets rid of the carbon dioxide. Now, if you don't have enough oxygen in your body, uh, shall we say, uh, what happens is that the tissues accumulate this, and it forms what's called lactate. Uh, it's anabolic, and if you've ever exercised, done a lot of heavy work or something, and you're sore the next day, well, it could be because you injured yourself, but most often it's because of the fact that lactate or build up in your tissue. So you want to do is you want to stretch that and drink some extra fluid and just be active. Don't just lay around and do anything. Again, hello, Gail. Uh, share as much as we can information-wise. Uh, so the good thing is that uh, the brain uh, really needs sugar, believe it or not. It lives on two things, sugar and oxygen. And it's a very, very interesting balancing act so to speak. Uh, it, it varies from day to day. It goes up and down depending upon uh, your lack of oxygen or excess sugar that you have. 20% uh, of the blood uh, that actually uh, accumulates sugar throughout the day actually goes into your brain, believe it or not. So sugar is very, very important in that respect. But if you don't get enough uh, say you, you might have uh, confusion uh, initially or, or uh, hypoglycemia, some uh, actions where you might have headaches or instability, little dizziness, so forth and so on. Oftentimes people will just take, uh, so, to, uh, so to speak, uh, a shot of something or a bite of a candy bar, orange juice, whatever else, all of a sudden they start feeling pretty good. Uh, we're going to talk about hypoglycemia some of the time because, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, about 40 to 45 percent of all fibromyalgia patients have something called uh, hypoglycemia, uh, and Dr. St. Amon uh, actually named it fibroglycemia, and that's taken care of by special dieting, where you take sugar, gluten, trans fatty acids, and dairy out of your diet. It's a restricted hypoglycemic diet, and then you add one every 72 hours to find out how it adversely affects you, but you got to get it out of your system first. Now, we're going to be talking about things like addiction, because sugar can be very addictive. One of the bad things about sugar is uh, that even though it does produce energy, uh, you walk in your kitchen and it's all over the place. Uh, if you walk into a supermarket, it's all over the place. I mean, it's on just almost everything. You can't get rid of it, all right? Uh, yeah, but there is a big difference. Now, sugar, uh, where you're talking about sugar cane as a plant, uh, has uh, enzymes and nutrients and, and uh, various things in it that are good for you, really. But when it gets refined, it takes all that stuff out, and so it's empty calories, okay? So refined sugar is a waste as far as you're concerned. That white stuff that's on, uh, you know, on, your, uh, on your counter, uh, it uh, has no nutritional value, uh, and uh, at least uh, uh, many of the companies still filter uh, the cane sugar through uh, uh, charred animal bones uh, to actually purify it, believe it or not, and get the enzymes and vitamins and minerals out of it. So pure cane sugar in itself isn't so bad for you. Again, there's a balance between your brain and how much you take in and so forth and so on. It's very, very important. Uh, so uh, sugar is important for the brain, uh, for, uh, for carbon dioxide, because it works with uh, oxygen. 
Uh, and so that uh, expelling of the carbon dioxide is very, very important. Uh, the bad part is the excesses, of course, of sugar. Uh, and uh, it's very, very interesting uh, as we go, go along. Uh, I'll tell you a story about uh, the next thing, and that's the ugly the ugly part. Okay, so refined sugar is a simple carb versus complex carbohydrates like the fruits and vegetables that you have. Uh, usually found in foods. Uh, as I mentioned to you, it's uh, usually found all over the place uh, in supermarkets. And they take that refined sugar uh, and we add it to uh, a lot of different products, fats and, uh, uh, that, uh, and loads of cholesterol and and it becomes addicted. Sugar uh, is, is involved with saturated fats, um, hydrogenated fats. Uh, they're useless calories, really. Uh, it's like, uh, again, linked to uh, conditions like hypoglycemia and yeast overgrowth and a weak immune system and uh, hypersensitivity, ADD, ADHD, enlarged liver and kidneys, uh, increased urine production, uh, mental emotional disorders, dental cavities, uh, imbalance uh, of uh, uh, your neurons and so forth. Uh, a lot of different things that uh, actually uh, adversely affect you if you overload on too much sugar especially uh, when we're talking about the brain itself. Uh, and uh, excess sugar makes you fat. Excess sugar uh, goes into uh, your liver as uh, glycogen. And when the liver gets overloaded, it releases it uh, in your blood as fatty acids, and it ends up on your stomach, thighs, hips, butt, stuff like that, which is uh, not only uh, obesity, but also all those things are inflammatory. You know, it's not just uh, uh, fat itself, but the worst uh, uh, accumulation of fat that you have is around your organs. And that's when you uh, excess too much sugar and the liver can't take it, so it releases it. And that's uh, that fat around organs. And that is inflammatory, believe it or not. That is an inflammatory aspect that you have to deal with. So, uh, that's the sugar aspect. Now let's take a look at the ugly, okay? Uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the best thing I can say is that uh, in 1973, uh, G.D. Cyril introduced something called aspartame. Uh, and it's uh, uh, under the name of NutraSweet. Uh, 1973 it started. 1975, uh, test results were uh, manipulated, shall we say, by the company. Uh, and the product was uh, considered dangerous and not safe. In 1977, a grand jury proceedings against Cyril, D.D. Cyril, uh, for uh, knowingly misrepresenting the product itself, uh, and uh, that uh, it was, uh, uh, again, found to be dangerous. Uh, the government actually had uh, a lawyer, uh, and the lawyer, just before it was supposed to go to court, quit and was hired by Cyril, believe it or not. Uh, this is uh, a process that Cyril has developed uh, over a number of times, believe it or not. In, uh, so that was 1977. 1980, FDA determined again uh, uh, no approval of this aspartame, 1980. 1981, you get a new FDA Food and Drug Administration uh, Commissioner by the name of Arthur Hull Hayes, okay? 1983, all of a sudden, uh, even with all of the tests and uh, manipulation and everything else and the scientists going against it, it was approved uh, 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 for beverages in soft drinks, believe it or not. Even the National Soft Drink Association uh, was against this, believe it or not. Uh, but it still went through in 1983. Same time, uh, through uh, investigations, uh, again, the government uh, uh, went after Cyril. Uh, and lo and behold, just before uh, it was going to go to court, uh, the lawyer, lawyers quit and were again hired by Cyril. Not only that, but they went after uh, Hayes himself, the Food and Drug Administration, the, the uh, government, uh, and he quit and he was hired by Cyril. This is unbelievable, isn't it? It's uh, uh, really fascinating. Uh, 1996, uh, let's say, that was found, uh, scientists found that there were 92 different symptoms by ingesting aspartame, uh, and yet it was approved. 92, most of them neurotoxic neurological symptoms. Okay, 2004 class actions lawsuit was, get, was brought against NutraSweet 
uh, the National American Diabetic and American Diabetic Association, and a guy by the name of uh, Donald Rumfeld. Have you ever heard of Rumsfeld? Uh, remember, he was uh, important uh, during the Bush administration. Well, uh, the class action suit was because he used his influence to make sure uh, that Cyril's product went through uh, in one way or another. So uh, this product, Estratame, has, like I say, 92 different symptoms by ingesting uh, the product itself. So <clears throat> let's take a look at the product itself. Uh, the uh, Estratame... Uh, or NutraSweet uh, is, uh, uh, by the way, was actually denied eight times by the Food and Drug Administration. Eight times NutraSweet. Uh, NutraSweet and Equal, you know those uh, blue packets also, uh, can both contain aspartame, uh, and they, they include methyl alcohol, uh, which uh, actually changes into formaldehyde, which is a deadly neurotoxin. Formaldehyde, you know, you've heard of that before, right? Uh, Equal also contains amino acids, uh, phenylalanine, which is a product that uh, well, it's actually a, uh, something that is produced naturally by the brain, but in excessive amounts causes seizures, a depression, uh, and schizophrenia. Very interesting. Uh, these fake sugars, fake sugars, that's what these are. Now let's look at Splenda, okay? Uh, Splenda is made by the sugar, but it chlorinates the sugar. Okay, and it produces something called sucralose, and sucralose uh, by the FDA has been found to be 98% pure and clean, 98%. So what's the other 2%? Well, the other 2% are methanol and something called arsenic. What? <laughs> it's only 2%. What the heck? Okay, so uh, that's another sugar. Okay, sweet and low uh, contains saccharin, which is a coal tar compound. Uh, and uh, uh, it, that's another problem, is it takes sweet and low. Uh, by the way, the symptoms from sucralose they found, and that's uh, Splenda, include diarrhea, uh, immune organ genetic uh, damage, uh, along with swelling of the liver, uh, kidney disease, and a fetal body weight decrease. So all of those things from fake, from that one fake sugar itself, just those. Uh, when we were, uh, it was interesting, uh, a few years ago, we were in Disneyland, uh, and we were eating outside, or a group of us, and all of a sudden, uh, somebody left uh, some things on the, uh, the table uh, next to us, uh, and there were packets of, of sugar over there, and uh, the birds were eating uh, not only uh, the uh, food, but also they were picking up packets of sugar. Uh, and when the waiter came over, he said, have you noticed something? And we said, yeah, well, the birds are eating all the different food. He says, no, have you noticed that the birds are not taking the fake sugar? They're just taking the, the good sugar, which is not that good anyway, he says, but they don't want to take that other poison. That was from, <laughs> that was from a... Uh, uh, server in Disneyland. <laughs> he says, that's so common. He says, they don't take the fake sugar. He says, they can really tell the difference. Isn't that interesting? So, you've got the good uh, sugar, which is actually uh, a part of a very, very important process uh, along with oxygen in the body so that your body, when it burns, it burns off uh, carbon dioxide, okay? Uh, sugar, pure cane sugar is good as long as you don't overdo it, you don't excess it, okay? Uh, when you talk about refined sugars, those are simple carbs. They're empty carbs. They're empty. They're, they're, there's nothing to them. They're addictive. They cause excess uh, fat to be produced, which is inflammatory. They have a lot of side effects. Uh, and uh, uh, sugar in itself is difficult to stay away from. But the most important thing is excesses. Uh, don't excess, okay? Uh, and you can neutralize some of those refined sugars by taking up the uh, low glycemic uh, uh, products itself, the, the fruits and vegetables, also, which are natural itself. Then you got the ugly. You've got the, uh, the NutraSweet, uh, along with Equal, along with uh, Sweet and Low and Splenda. All of them have chemicals in them, uh, like anything from arsenic to formaldehyde. Come on, geez, my goodness. <laughs> you don't want those in your system in any way or form, especially if you have fibromyalgia or other conditions. That's just going to uh, really adversely affect your immune system. And how many times have I mentioned in this that it affects your immune system, okay, these different things. So, again, very, very important. Uh, sugar in itself is not bad in it, as long as it's not in excess. 
uh, and that you enjoy yourself so you don't want to have additional problems in itself. Uh, and uh, everybody that's joined, I want to thank you so very, very much. Gail, I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation. Uh, and we'll keep on doing this uh, uh, as long as we can uh, and uh, uh, doing different uh, productions uh, for you and different things. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about, and this is important for, uh, again, anybody that has an inflammatory condition, uh, anybody that uh, has fibromyalgia, interested in fibro, know more about fibromyalgia, all the different aspects of it, uh, because I've been working uh, with fibromyalgia patients since 1990. I am a doctor of chiropractic. I also uh, have degrees in phys uh, physiotherapy, um, uh, acupuncture, cold laser, so forth and so on. Uh, but from day one, I tell my, uh, my patients, my fibromyalgia patients, look, this is not a chiropractic thing that we're going to be dealing with. I'm just not going to play you on a table and adjust you. It's much more intense and, and deep than that. It has to do with a lot of things that the patients have to do to take care of themselves. And as we go through these things, that's why I want to tell you, part of, the, part of the detox is taking sugar, gluten, trans fatty acids, dairy out of your diet. That's what we're doing. That's what we're talking about. Okay? Uh, and I want to make sure you understand why our program is working. All right. Most of these things are not only adding to your problems, but also inflammatory. And they're addictive. They're addictive. If you take sugar out of your diet, I mean, really, especially the, the simple carb sugar, uh, all, the, and all the different uh, uh, foods and so forth, trans fatty acids and sugar kind of add together. I'll, I'll talk to you about that, all those things on the shelf that you eat. So anyway, bottom line is that uh, we are here to make sure that you understand why we're taking these out of your diet and that when you we do take them out of your diet, you'll already get irritated and so forth because uh, just like an addict, I mean, we're taking things out of your body that your body is, is almost craving for, okay? Uh, but after a couple of weeks, okay, you feel pretty good, all right, until you add it. When you add it, then you can have a reaction. And I always say, what's the reaction? Like the seven dwarfs, okay? Itchy, scratchy, sneezy, dopey, heavy, keep bloaty. Okay, so it's not, a, it's not exactly seven dwarfs, but you get the idea. You shouldn't have any reaction if you eat these things, all right? But a lot of the reactions, because they're addicted, you don't even realize. You might be a little bit more tired, you might be more achy, sore, okay? Uh, have to go to the bathroom more often, uh, thirsty, one thing or another. All those different things, it's because oftentimes of the addictive behaviors of the things that you're ingesting, and they're inflammatory. Ken Muirch. Fibromyalgia Wellness Center, Stetson Chiropractic Clinic. Tell your family, friends, doctors, whatever else. Uh, that's all I'm using is research and clinical uh, evaluations that I do on a daily basis for the patients that come in because that's probably the most important thing, face-to-face, -face, okay, working with patients. And if they, if they follow our protocol, I'll tell you, they do great. <laughs> Again, thank you so very, very much. Have a wonderful weekend, a uh, wonderful uh, rest of the Labor Day weekend. Enjoy, and hope to see you next week, uh, 12.30, Monday, 12.30 p.m., Monday, uh, uh, Arizona time. Thank you, again. Thank you, thank you for everybody joining. Thank you, Gail, for joining me. And uh, again, have a great rest of the weekend and a great week. And for those people that are in the hurricane area, uh, our blessings and prayers are with you. Please take care of yourself, uh, and I do hope and pray that uh, uh, that gets blown off the uh, course and that doesn't hit you. Thank you so very, very much. Bye-bye now. By the way, every one of these are saved, so you can check back on them. Bye-bye.